Enrolling an adequate number of participants in research is a pervasive problem. If studies do not meet their target enrollment in the allotted time period, they may not complete their scientific goals and may take a significant financial loss after investing heavily in study startup. In addition, there are ethical concerns because if researchers cannot complete the study due to under-enrollment, they may not be able to carry out the study aims outlined in the participant consent form. A critical piece of the recruitment problem is a lack of diversity among research participants. When research participants do not accurately represent characteristics of the overall population of people with a particular condition, the study results may not be generalizable and certain populations may not receive the same benefit from research innovations. For example, up to 75% of Pacific Islanders are unable to convert an antiplatelet drug into its active form, leading to a higher risk for adverse outcomes following angioplasty, which is why it is critical to have diversity in drug trials like these to ensure that treatments will benefit everyone. The NIH took a first step in addressing these disparities with the Revitalization Act of 1993, which mandated the inclusion of women and minorities in NIH-sponsored research for the first time. The new act required researchers to include women and minorities to provide valid analysis if variables studied in the trial affect women or minorities differently than other subjects in trials. The act was amended in 2001 to include guidelines on reporting analysis of sex, gender, racial, and ethnic differences in intervention effects for clinical trials. More recently, the NIH has taken steps to address sex differences in preclinical research, noting that an over-reliance on male animals and cells obscures key sex differences that could guide clinical studies. In addition to NIH initiatives, the Food and Drug Administration is also taking note of the importance of diversity in clinical trials. The FDA made 2016 Year of Diversity in Clinical Trials to push for greater inclusion in minority participation and building new initiatives to address this issue. Despite national efforts and interests, research participation remains low for racial ethnic minorities and other underrepresented groups such as women, low socioeconomic status populations, and older adults. For example, African American men are twice as likely to die from prostate cancer than whites, but represent only 4% of prostate cancer clinical trial participants. In 2014, suicide was one of the top three causes of death for Asian American women ages 15 through 45. However, only 2% of clinical trial participants for major depressive disorder were Asian American. A 2016 systematic review revealed that women are underrepresented in HIV research, accounting for 11 to 19 percent of all study participants, a rate that is far less than the prevalence of women living with HIV. As an investigator, you can make an impact. When study participants reflect the rich diversity in our communities, studies can generate information about causes of and strategies to address differences, including policies and practices to eliminate disparities.